Imagine earning $100 million in your career. It's almost hard to conceptualize how much money that is. You can buy 478,000 shares of GME. You can buy 13 million quarts of my favorite ice cream. The only thing you can't do with $100 million is make Dan Bilzerian's Ignite Company profitable. Adrian Peterson has earned over $100 million in his career and is an example of what can go wrong with an athlete's personal finances if he isn't careful. Since he's still signing contracts and playing into his late 30s, simply because he loves the game of football, he has surpassed $102 million in salary alone. That isn't including endorsement money and the money Bob Stoops paid him under the table. I'm a Texas fan, so I gotta throw digs when I can. There was a news story a couple of months back about Adrian Peterson struggling to pay a lender $6.5 million. Some of you lovely sports fans enjoy writing comments on my other athlete finance videos about me not understanding that the athlete in the video is about to sign for $50 million. There's no way he's going broke. You need to relax and let these athletes live a little, Spencer. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Peterson now joins the endless list of professional athletes who experience financial hardship after hitting the career lottery. We don't have access to his personal tax returns to know if he's really broke, but this story is about him struggling to pay back a loan that was taken on to pay down another loan. You don't make those decisions when you have money. Quick story, back when I lived in Houston, I went to the 24-hour fitness on Richmond Ave near Galleria Mall. I was about to walk up the stairs up to the fitness area and one guy was walking down the stairs on the wrong side. What an idiot, I thought. I had to walk in the middle trying to squeeze in and I noticed that this guy had sweatpants and a hoodie on and looked exhausted. As he got closer, I noticed the Vikings logo on his pants and just caught enough of his face to realize it looked like Adrian Peterson. I asked one of the trainers if AD trained at this gym and he said he goes to that location because of the head trainer. It was him. I should have told him to invest in Bitcoin around that time. Imagine how rich we would both be. So I take partial responsibility for Adrian's financial struggles. We have to start this story with TMZ. If you're a celebrity or professional athlete, any story on TMZ that involves you is probably not good news. Fifth baby with at least fourth baby mama. It's so weird to me how this is normalized in America now. What's sad is that this is a legitimate issue, but it's common among professional athletes. It's almost not even funny anymore because of how prevalent these stories are and how damaging it is to the kid. Adrian Peterson, baby mama. He's fathered seven kids, not five. How do you feel about Adrian as a, as a father? Is he, is he a responsible father? I'll say he takes care of them financially. The ones that I know of, I only knew of five. The other two I didn't know about until just recently when it was reported. But um, to my knowledge, he takes care of all of them financially. Um, he gets my son in the summertime. One of the baby mamas finding out that he has other baby mamas. I find these stories so interesting. I don't even think it's shocking because it's so common now to have professional athletes spreading their seed to many lovely young women. But we also don't know what happened. I've heard some inside sources say that you always drain the spunk in the toilet first and you do not leave the rubber in the women's apartment. She could dig in the trash can when you're gone and invent a new meaning for raising seed capital for her business. Um, I, I, you said something there. You said that you knew of five, but didn't know of the two that just came out because we broke the story about your baby and another baby yesterday. Uh, and then we knew about the other three, obviously. Are there more that we're not counting? I think when athletes reach the professional level and are signing for millions of dollars, they have to feel invincible. They must feel like they can just pay away any problem. Another kid? That's just another couple of grand out of my pocket, no biggie. Whenever I see stories like this, I always think about the dating apps and how common it is to see women who have a kid on the dating apps. And I never think about who the baby daddy could be, but it could be a professional athlete who has made tens of millions of dollars. How do you compete with that? Us guys, we're like swiping all day and we have to compete with someone who's made millions and is uber famous. Adrian Peterson is now married to a lovely young lady who he knew from his boomer sooner days. Hopefully this marriage lasts because the other easiest way to go broke as a professional athlete, besides having as many baby mamas as you do touchdowns, is to get a divorce. As all of you know, the divorce typically happens when the athlete is playing great and earning millions, right? That is incorrect. We know marriage is all about unconditional love besides certain conditions. When athletes retire and the money stops coming in, that's when the marriage really succeeds. Unfortunately, the data tells us that athletes get divorced at an even higher rate than us civilians. Women marry athletes for their smile and their confidence, we know that. All jokes aside, divorces happen for many reasons and enough reasons for me to wonder why in the world do rich athletes get married or knock up a bunch of women? It's the easiest way to lose all that you earned. Here's the ESPN article on Adrian Peterson's lawsuit. D'Angelo Vehicle Sales LLC sued Peterson in 2018. 
not able to pay back $5.2 million loan. On Wednesday, they asked for $8.2 million, $8.2 million interest of $2,200 per day. The interest rate was 16%, which New York state law dropped to 9%. Adrian, why are you taking a 9% interest loan after you've earned $100 million? There's also a statement by his attorney. The truth behind Adrian Peterson's current financial situation is more than is being reported at this time. Because of ongoing legal matters, I am unable to go into detail, but I will say this is yet another situation of an athlete trusting the wrong people and being taken advantage of by those he trusted. It's easy for us to mock and laugh at the athletes who lose this much money, but sometimes they trust the wrong people and get taken advantage of. Someone like Adrian having financial problems after earning over $100 million is inexcusable, but this happens to athletes at every income level. Down the road, I'd love to have a brokerage or team up with a legitimate brokerage that handles athletes' money. There's plenty of financial firms who could help athletes not lose their money. The problem is it's hard to gain access to the athletes, and so they go with people they trust. People like Adrian Peterson need to have someone who takes away all of their money and just invests it in bonds in the stock market and doesn't allow anyone to touch it until his retirement. Here's a little fun exercise of looking at certain investments you could buy with the amount of money he was making. Looking at a 12 unit apartment building, 1.4 million at a 6.2 cap. So at a 1.4 purchase price, let's say he bought in cash, Adrian would be able to buy this nice apartment complex. You can see, you know, it's all right, it's pretty good. Nice interior, 88,000 net operating income. So let's, if that number's a little high, let's just say $80,000. Well, the point of buying these is you then add $80,000 of income every single year after your playing days and you own the asset in cash. I also looked at this cool little specialty building. Doesn't look like much on the outside, almost 18,000 square feet. You're probably wondering, Spencer, what in the world were you looking at? Well, it's a cool, look at this, it's a school. It's a cool looking school. So I was thinking, what, a school makes money? Well, the lease is through June of 2027 and the net operating income is expected to be over 200,000 in 2021 with a 3% annual rent increase. This school has been operating in this location since 08, so they've been there for 13 years. $200,000 a year, 231,000. Again, when you buy this stuff cash, like Adrian could, $3 million, he was definitely earning way more than that in his, in his peak playing days. You could buy this stuff and add 200,000 of income every year. Then there's also this cool website, Biz Buy Sell, which is sometimes like fun to look through. I was just getting some ideas on what businesses he could buy. And I noticed this Minneapolis ultra clean high tech coin laundromat for 700,000. That is the best way to launder money. Now I'm not saying he should do it, but when you earn that much money, sometimes you gotta think outside the box to not pay taxes. Only kidding, by the way. Uh, but there are some pretty cool ideas in here. Here's one, five fast food franchises, the Rusty Taco. I've never been to Minneapolis, so I'm not, I've never heard that franchise name. $1.6 million asking price, gross revenues of 5.3 million. Doesn't give us cash flow, unfortunately, but that's a business that earns a lot of money. Here's a cool like neighborhood bar, award-winning neighborhood bar. You could, I mean, think of how awesome it'd be if you own these in Minneapolis and you're Adrian Peterson. You wouldn't need a marketing budget because it would be you. You just show up on TV, hey, I'm Adrian Peterson. I love to hang out at this bar. $1.4 million asking price, cash flow of 220,000. Think of how much money he'd be making if he just spent, instead of spending all his money on whatever he did, if he just invested in businesses. Here's automotive collection business, or automotive collision business, excuse me, 700,000 of cash flow. And then here's one, here's like an actual legitimate one that uh, any athlete could do is buying something like Subway. You buy locations of Subways. 465,000 asking price, 192,000 cash flow. And what would be super dope is to have a business manager, kind of like LeBron does, he's got this team of business managers that handles all these businesses for you, but then you could be the face of them. You could, you could do cool promotions, you could run the advertisements yourself. Maybe once a year you go in and sign jerseys and people come to your locations, that'd be a great way to run this business. The Associated Press reported last December that Peterson asked the NFL to consider $4 million in lost endorsements as part of his punishment while the league considered whether or not to uphold his suspension. Adrian ran into a little trouble with the league and lost some endorsement money, but he could have been earning an additional $4 million from endorsements every year during his peak. He could buy these investment properties or businesses with cash just from endorsement money. I'm going to end this video on a positive note. Adrian did team up with Trent Williams to build this really awesome gym in Houston called O Athletic. This gym is a mixture of many different exercises and workout routines in one building. Many professional athletes visit this gym and train with the head trainer. An ESPN article did say that Peterson had five other business partners on the deal, so I'm unsure of his ownership split, but there might be some money to be made from this gym. Gyms aren't that profitable if split evenly among five or six people, but it is good to see Adrian put his money into an investment that is at least profitable, seen as it's still open to this day. 
Adrian Peterson is only 35 years old. If he lives to 85, he has another 50 years on this planet. I really hope this loan wasn't indicative of him being completely broke because that's bad news for him and his kids running around Houston. Adrian, if you're struggling after this season, I'll hire you. We'll start a program that helps the next wave of pro athletes handle their money better. Thanks for watching.